Hello everybody, it's Leela and welcome to my channel or welcome back. For today's video, we have something a little different on my channel. We're going to customize this Disney ILY Bambi fan, dye her hair, give her a new outfit and make an entirely new character. So if that sounds like something you'd like to see, stick around and consider subscribing to the channel as that will really help it to grow. Okay, let's get started. So here we have a Disney ILY Bambi fan. This is the Jack Pacific doll, which is really important because for part of the customization that I want to do for her is to dye her hair. Um, I've complained in my previous videos about how we don't have any gingers or redheaded characters in this lineup. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and make one. But it's important to note the dolls from the Disney store, the ones with the inset eyes, their hair is, I believe, polypropylene, so it's not something that you can dye with RIT dye, unfortunately. But the Jack Pacific dolls, like this Disney IOY Bambi doll with the blonde hair, let's take her hat off. Um, her hair, again, is very soft, very soft. It is nylon, so that means it is dyeable with RIT dye, just the all-purpose RIT dye. Uh, follow the directions for dyeing nylon, and then you can dye her hair any color that you like. Uh, for me today, it's going to be orange for ginger. Um, but yeah, it's something that's good to note for those that might want to customize a doll from this line. This one is the one that has the lightest hair, so it would be easiest to color. Um, you can go darker when you dye doll hair with RIT dye, but you can't really go lighter. You can change tone. So if you took one of the brown hair dolls, you could you could either her black easily, or you could change a tone like a dark purple or a dark red, um, but you couldn't really get it lighter. So this doll with the blonde hair is the, the better option if you want to do like a bright color or a light color. So this is why I chose her, um, because I wanted to make a ginger doll. Um, and yeah, so um, with all that said, Let's hop over. I'm going to take you through the process. This isn't necessarily a tutorial, so I'm not that good at it, and this is my first time trying. But I'm going to take you along in the process, show you a little bit of how it's done, and then we'll come back here and we'll find a new outfit for her. Okay, so here we have mixed up some tangerine writ dye. Uh, according to the directions, just some water and some vinegar and warm water and I did just a, a small strand test to make sure the hair type would take the color and um, you can see very well but yeah it seems to be taking the color well so just kind of swirling it around in there and you can see that it seems the hair is nylon so it is taking the color really well it's really light to start because you can always you know add more to make it a bit darker so I think that we will take the plunge and, and dive in. So let's do it. Okay, we're gonna dunk her in the water. Just kind of slowly getting it on her hair here, saturating. With this type of dye, um, the original type of red dye, not the dye more. You don't need to worry about getting it on the face. It won't dye the plastic of the doll. So just kind of dunk it in there and swirl around. Just swirling around. Trying to get it all over. You can see it's already starting to turn nice and orange. And no, <laughs> no kittens. You don't want kittens to be in the in the dye solution. Frankie, you already have orange hair. You can't you can't dye. You can't be in this to dye a hair orange. <laughs> Again, yeah, just swirl around. Get it all over. Yep, it's not sticking to the face or anything, but it's sticking to the hair, so it's starting to look nice and orange. Cool. Uh, you should be using gloves, but I don't have any, so I'm going to get orange on my hands, but that's okay. 
Okay, so after dunking her around for just a few minutes, you don't have to do it for very long, um, I gave her a nice cold rinse in the sink. And this is the color that we have. It's surprisingly even and very bright. This is just straight writ dye tangerine. I'm so excited. That worked so well. So I'm just gonna let it dry and then style and then we'll restyle her. Okay, so while her hair is still damp, we just take this curling iron on the lowest setting and sort of wrap around. It will make some noise, but don't worry too much. Um, and just to make some spirals like this, just really quickly. You can see you get a little curl spiral like that. And then I'm gonna do the rest of it. Okay, so here we are after curling. I just kind of randomly took sections and did little curls. I don't like them to be super neat or perfect. Um, messy is good with me. <laughs> so this is where we have her hair now. Nice and curled. It looks so cute. Now let's get her style. Okay, and we're back with our custom ginger curl. I've let her hair dry and I've styled it now. So she has these bright orange curls. Um, it kind of goes everywhere. There's certainly, you could certainly do this more neatly, but I'm, I, you know, I'm not that good at it, like I said, and I don't really mind a bit of a messiness, especially, um, you know, for curls. And then I did a little half up ponytail because I thought that would look cute for her curly hair. So it's a bit big and curly and crazy, <laughs> um, but I think it's really fun. I, I really am happy with how it turned out. I love how bright it is. Um, and yeah, it, it's so tempting to just make all different colors of these now that I know that I can do that. It, it's really fun. So next up is styling her. So let's set her over here to the side a bit and go through my clothes collection for Disney ILY and see, you know, how we might style her. I don't even have anything in mind really, but whenever I'm restyling my dolls, especially for the Disney, um, I tend to pick one piece that I really like and work up an outfit from there um, as like a, you know, the foundation piece. There's this Snow White skirt that's kind of cute. That would be fun on her with her bright hair. Let's see. We have this pink skirt as well. These are the jeans from Rapunzel. If I wanted to do jeans, let's see. Oh, I really like this pink polka dot skirt. Hmm. I, I like everything, that's the problem. Um, oh, these are some of the Christmas ones, so we'll probably skip those for now. Um, a spin shirt. Uh, one of the, the boy dolls, Aladdin shirts. This is not Disney IOY, this is just a Snow White dress. I could put her in that to be fair, but I don't think that's what I want to style her in today. Um, oh goodness, the Velcro on this is getting all over. Um, we have this big fluffy coat from Ursula. Um, I kind of like it. Do I like it for her? I don't know. Um, we'll set that to the side. Let's see. Cinderella. This is a Moana sweater. Uh, maybe too much orange with the orange hair. Let's see. Purple top. Big Thunder Mountain. I do like this denim jacket though um, from the Big Thunder Mountain set. Maybe we could use something with that. We have this long sleeve Mickey and Minnie uh, turtleneck. I think this is from the Christmas set. What do we think of that with the polka dot skirt? That's kind of cute. Let me set that aside as an option. Um, I believe this is an aerial hoodie. It's kind of fun. We did bright colors. Hmm. Oh, right. Actually, I think this top we went with this dress, if I'm remembering correctly. I kind of like that for her. Let me set that aside as well. Some shorts. We have lots of different shorts that go good with, you know, pretty much any top. Um, so I think it's really more about finding a top that you love. This, this blue uh, snow white top I really like. It goes with this skirt. Ooh, the yellow bell dress would be kind of fun on her. Ooh, I like that as well. Oh, I like too many different things for her. I can't decide. 
This was a Rapunzel sweater. Uh, this kind of light pink top. Hmm. Oh, the mini coffee and kindness shirt would be kind of cute for her, but I don't know. Um, I also like this plaid shirt that was, I think, a Pocahontas fashion pack. It's kind of cute. Do we like neutral tones for her or something brighter? These bell denim pants are cute. This light purple New Orleans top would look kind of pretty with her. Oh, and then this um, yellow rose top. That could be kind of fun for her. What about this stitch top with this um, kind of pinkish purple skirt? That's kind of fun. Going back to this denim jacket with the yellow skirt. Is that kind of, I don't know if I like those together. Oh, I still really do like this polka dotted top. We could go the edgy route and give her the um, Maleficent um, shorts with the tights. Hmm, what would go good as a good top of this? Um, hoodie kind of goes good with the purple shorts. I'm leaning towards this cute stitch top with this skirt and maybe with the hoodie. Is that too many clashing colors and patterns? I don't know. Uh, I don't think that looks good after, after all. <laughs> Let's keep trying some more options. I'm trying to find something to go with this pink polka dotted skirt, but then something came to mind. What if we built an outfit around this shirt and did a sort of Merida theme since she has the red hair like Merida? Maybe that's her favorite character. Let's see. Let's see if we can build something around this shirt. Oh, I, I might have found something interesting. Let's see. What about with this overall skirt from the Tiana doll? The colors really go well together. I think that's really cute, actually. It looks good on her. Um, she needs some sort of jacket. Why don't we think for that? We could go with the um, cream color jacket that goes with the Tiana outfit. I think that would actually look really good. Let's put that on. Oh, I think that looks really cute. That jacket looks really good on her. And that top looks um, really cute with that skirt. Oh, I like this, actually. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, I think that's really cute. Now let's find her some accessories, shoes, maybe socks. Let's see. What if she wore this blue hat? Well, that, that looks really good with her hair, but uh, the, the royal blue doesn't really match the rest of her outfit, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. What if she did wear a hat, though? Ooh, what about this teal hat? That's kind of cute. It doesn't want to stay down <laughs> because of the ponytail. We've got a lot of accessory and shoe options here. I'm not sure which direction to go. Those are kind of cute with the cream, but the red flowers doesn't really match. What about clogs? These clogs match that. That looks really cute. Let's set these to the side. What about these white sneakers? They have a little bit of a teal accent. Let's see, maybe? Um, brown sandals. Yeah, those aren't my favorite. Yeah, let's try those. There we have her in her clogs, looking pretty cute. She does need a bag. Um, purple? No. Ooh, what about this one? It's the Big Thunder Mountain from the Big Thunder Mountain pack. Well, that's a good option. I'll set it to the side. This um, teal bag. That goes with Jasmine, I believe. That's a good option. We'll set that to the side. Oh, here's a good necklace. I believe that came with the uh, Merida set as well. Cute. Here's some glasses that would look really cute on her, I think. Or this small little bunny handbag. Hmm. Um, but I kind of like these because of the fabric strap. I think it's uh, like looks a little bit nicer. The hat doesn't seem to want to stay right with her hair. Here we have a completed look for her. I think it actually turned out really nice. I like the teal with the um, bright orange hair and all the different, the cream natural colors, the neutral colors look nice on her. Um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. What do you guys think? There are so many different options that would look good with her, I think. So 
I'm, I'm glad we found this one. I think it looks pretty good. Again, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the restyle and have you done this? Does this make you want to try dyeing hair for Disney dolls? Um, let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye!